This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Jennifer Miller with me. You're the executive director again, again. at our Big Brothers Big Sisters of Lanark County. Welcome back to FYI. Welcome back to Big Brothers Big Sisters. Great to be back in familiar chairs, Kathy. Thanks yes. for having me. For sure, for sure. Now, Big Brothers Big Sisters, you were there for how long your first time? I was there 12 years. 12 years. Yes, and I've spent the last four exploring other things and... The grass was not greener on the other side, so here I am. Here you are, back yes. again, back yes. again. So let's talk a little bit about our big brothers, big sisters, like okay. Lanark County. Can we do yep. that? Let's. 50th year in yes. Lanark County this year, so we're celebrating all year. Um, planning a big gala in the fall, so we'll come back and talk to you more about that. Um, we're really aiming to kind of rebuild the number of kids served. COVID was hard on us. Um, and, uh, and we're grateful for community support um, all, all the time, but especially in our 50th year. So, so really good to be here. And I mean, you guys do so much. People typically, when they think big brothers, big sisters, they think of the matches, the bigs and the littles. That's right. But you do so much. Well, I think we try and fill a lot of gaps in the community. So we do a lot of after school programming. We have a youth program. So these are programs that are not otherwise available. And so while they're a little bit of outside of our traditional one-to-one -one matches, they're still still about mentoring kids and and just all kids kids that need a little extra attention um, kids that are struggling with mental health or just kids that need a safe place to go in the after school hours and, and speaking of that too uh, we had Heidi and Brianna here right before nice. Christmas yes. you got a new building you, you a new well location? so we have a new location we're at 25 Main Street West in Smith Falls now for our um, youth program called WAC we are kids and it's a great space. It's got a beautiful big kitchen and lots of open spaces. We've got a little craft and arts room set up. Um, and we're there in partnership with Community Living in Carebridge. They've had this extra space and welcomed us there. So we're really glad to be in that space. Nice and central. It's central and it's just ours. So we can leave things there and the kids can decorate the space how they want to. So they really feel like it's home for them. And before this, you had a room at the, uh, the youth arena. The town so of Smith Falls has been great to yes. us. Mm -hmm. So they gave us space upstairs at the youth arena, which was wonderful. But we had to clean up and, and move our things out each night because other people rented the space. And so, so this change has been um, a great one. And I mean, it can focus, just to, taking that time away from the staff and your volunteers, you can focus so much more on the, on the kids. I think so. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So, so you've got a bowl coming up too, the 43rd annual Tim Hortons Bowl for kids' sake. Absolutely, so this is a big fundraiser for us, <coughs> Kathy. This is 20% of our annual funds. Um, so it's happening February 18th. Uh, as you pointed out before the interview started, there is some bowling before and after, so please call our office for the exact dates. But um, we are accepting new teams um, if you call our office and, and uh, uh, ask to participate we'd love to have everybody out we give you a package with pledge sheets you raise some funds you come out for a free game of bowling so uh, it's pretty fun it's and I mean, fun. with COVID, you guys had to, to pivot. That was our word through COVID. Uh, you know, people did it on their own. They did it virtually, that that's sort of right. thing. But it's, now we're together. And it's still an option, right? So if we have um, Nintendo Wii kits, if you want to have a home party or something at your work, that's all fine, too. Um, I know there's a lot of germs still going around, and not everybody's comfortable coming out. But we're going to try and be back in person as much as we can this year in our three bowling alleys, Perth, Smith Falls, and Carlton Place. Absolutely. So we've got the spare room in Perth. Yes. Uh, Grattan Lanes here in Smith Falls and Chase and Turkeys in Carlton Place. That's right. Absolutely. That's so right. this is a big event, like you say, too. It's a big deal for us. So we're not regularly government funded. We do get grants, one time uh, gifts from different levels of government, but ultimately we raise all of our own dollars. And so this is a really critical part. Um, we do this event, golf for kids, curl for kids. We run our own thrift stores, as you know. Yes. I'm sure mm -hmm. you've shopped in there. Yes, all, all the time. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Good, good. So, um, so these sorts of things are really important for us to be able to continue to help kids. Absolutely. Now, it, it, typically, too, before COVID and everything, people were doing this as a tradition. Yes. You know, they get their family, they get their church, they get their work groups, that sort of thing together. They did it every year. That's right. And when I call and talk to people, you know, you're checking in on people's kids and their colleagues and getting the update of how they survived COVID. Um, but it is really nice to be able to have people come back year after year and 
uh, it really is a tradition. I've, I've seen a few groups on, on Facebook already, too, saying, we've got a team out there. Give us a, and <laughs> nice. they've got some pretty big goals, some of them, That's too. That's right. So good That's for right. them. Good because for them. not only can you raise money with your paper pledge sheets, but you can raise money online as well. So that makes it easier, especially if you have friends and family that are outside of town. Absolutely. And it does make it easier, too. You it can does. just go online. Send an on email. Your, your e-transfer and all That's that sort right. of stuff, too. So That's again, right. the date is? February 18th in Smith Falls, Carlton Place, and Perth. And how do people get more information how to you, you, I like the good old-fashioned way too you've got paper get, as well we too. do have paper and you can do the old-fashioned way of give us a call at the office which is 283-0570 uh, you can go on our website um, and you can check us out on Facebook send us a message either way um, and uh, we'll we'll connect you with a kit Excellent, excellent. You know, I, what you, you mentioned your thrift stores. You've got two of them, one in Smith Falls, one in Perth. That's right. A lot of people do cleaning after Christmas. Please, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, we love to have gently used clothing. We take donations. Not as much um, stuff anymore, Kathy. Like, we just don't have a lot of room in either of our stores. So we're really looking for clothing, jewelry, purses, shoes, coats, that sort of thing. Uh, we have small areas for books, but not a lot of space for that either. So um, that's really what we're looking for in terms of donations. And I mean, that in itself, the clothes, there's an awful lot of clothes out there too. So. There really are. Yeah. I, I can speak uh, from my own closet. You know, it's yeah. really good to have a purge a couple times a year. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. And your yeah. physical office too is right at the Jewel Store on yeah. Elm Street? Yeah. yeah, so we bought the building there about 15 years ago and our offices are on one side and our thrift stores on the other. So that works it really well for us and then in Perth we're in the mall where Metro grocery store is right and that's a nice space as well it's really visible for people excellent yeah excellent. well welcome back to Big Brothers thank Big you. Sisters nice as the executive back. director Jennifer Miller uh, welcome back and uh, thanks for joining us thanks we'll Kathy. have you back here again real soon I'm sure Heidi and Brianna will be back real too thank <laughs> you soon too thank you